So this doesn't run Android, does it? This is something proprietary? No, no, this runs on QNX. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so what you've got here is, uh, is uh, a through digital, uh, through 3D navigation, and uh, what we overlay, like with the blanket with the Google Earth map, that's why it downloads with a, with a 3G connection, downloads the, from, from the Google Earth, Earth server the map, and it overlays on the normal navigation map. So what you can, um, when you browse over here, you see that it changes yeah. uh, changes height. It's really it's, yeah, it's really fast. Yeah. So it's uh, so that's one thing. If you want to, but but still you can you can uh, you can run it as a as a normal navigation system. So I change uh, change the map to standard oh, wow. map. Go in there, and um, even then you have wow. like uh, like POIs points of interest with uh, with a texture. You can you can see them as. Uh, as a buildings where you wow. where you drive past. Okay, now if you want to put in a destination, for example, we use something what we call a touchpad. Uh -huh. We want to put in a, a city. For example, we want to go to New York. It shows you here this this a symbol. So what I do is I put in the put in the letters. Oh, wow. And um, oh, so it's got uh, it's got gesture recognition and character recognition. Yeah, it's like a touchpad. Yeah. And it, nice. uh, yeah, character recognition. So, so I want to use that, New York City, sure. City, and for example, I want to go to Wall Street, I go to Ad Street, I go to... Maybe something, if I, if I make a wrong letter, I just push it back. I see. And it goes to, and then I think I put it in L. So that's a thing that we can do. On the media side, then comes in also graphics power of the system. We've got uh, what we call an album browser. So, so it downloads the pictures from the album, and you can browse the albums either by this rotary knob or also with the touchpad. Oh wow! You can, you can go through there, and then you can you can uh, you can select your album. It shows what what sort of songs are on there, and then you can play them. And uh, when it's played, it also shows the. Uh, Shows the uh, the cover. Can you play videos back while you're stopped? Yeah. Uh, when you're stopped, yeah. Yes. Uh, we go on source, for example. Uh, I put in iRobot because we're James James Cromwell at the keynote today. He made oh, the introduction. Okay. So of course, yeah, you can play that. Very nice. And then of course you have the normal. Uh, Sort of car function, car functionality, yeah. like seeing. Ah, one thing from from a computing side of that's really cool. You can use a car as a, what we call a rolling hotspot. It's got a three G oh, connection, wow, okay. and uh, you can wow. use it as a wireless network. Really? So uh, here, you've got this car. That's awesome. Is a as a, as a own modem. That's why you need own SIM card, preferably with a, with a data flat rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is there a browser on here? No. Um, no, not on this because um, basically what we thought is to integrate a browser, you have to modify it so much, especially to keep driver distraction. Yeah. But with this rolling hotspot, what you can do when you're sitting in the back or sitting on the passenger yeah, seat, you have it. your you have your iPad or whatever, uh, or your laptop, you connect it here, and then you can browse the internet. Interesting. And then what about that display over there? What what functionality? That's also Tegra running off of this. No, same. no. This is no? A, this is a combi cluster. Is a, is a, a different. Oh, okay. But you can have a, like a like a compass. You can have a speed. You can have uh, um, the uh, um, uh, can it, for example, when you go to a navigation, uh, start a uh, start route guidance in uh, demo mode. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then it, it's collecting, it's, oh, it's uh, ca calculating the route, and then it uh, then it shows you the uh, the directions. Very cool. Is there anything else you think we should see? Um, I think that's about it. Well, you're on the radio side. Oh, cool. Of course, you got we got radio data and everything. And uh, RDS? Not for, yeah, yeah, radio data, yeah. yeah, yeah. We've got, of course, a serious satellite radio, and also, you, as an option, you can have a HD radio. Oh, yeah, nice. Wish that catch on more here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, before that, I used to be responsible in Audi for uh, radio multimedia development. Oh, interesting. So so I started this this whole H HD project, which is being introduced in the US right oh, now. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah.